I no longer use my keyboard when programming. You heard that right. Why? Last year I overworked and ended up with serious wrist problems. So bad indeed that I couldn't work anymore. I needed a solution and I found mine with Talent. Talent essentially allows you to speak to your computer and for your computer to understand what you say most of the time. Sometimes. It's complicated. Talent uses voice recognition to get input from you. That input then triggers commands. Those commands create output. Essentially the same way a keyboard takes you pressing a key as an input and then creates a corresponding output. The problem with talent is that at first you will fail a lot and learning is very, very painful and slow. There's so many commands that the software has, but you need to figure them out at one point. But you don't know what you don't know until you know what you didn't know, but now you know and you wish you would have known before. <sighs> It's a process. Don't expect it to work after a week. Don't expect it to work after a month either. Honestly, it will probably take you multiple months until it actually feels good. It didn't take me that long, but, but then the magic happens. First, you will learn lots of commands. Then you learn which commands not to use because talent just never understands them. Yes, I'm looking at you, phrase. Then you start pronouncing words different and all of a sudden it understands you a lot better. Or it doesn't yet, but then the real magic happens. You learn to code commands, your very own customized commands. Now you have this army of non-ambiguous sounds that will always be understood exactly do what you want them to do. How to get there. I have a link to this website in the description below. From this one, you can get to the talent software itself and download that. After it's installed, you need to click on the talent icon in your taskbar, then on voice recognition. And from there, install the voice recognition. Only then it will actually understand what you say. Yes, I tried lots of voice commands until I figured out that something is missing. But without any scripts, it doesn't do anything either. Unless you want to code all of them yourself, you should really check this one out. Now script has honestly everything that you need. And it's a lot with only that you can do most stuff on your PC without ever touching a keyboard. But the problem is that you don't know what you don't know. So let me teach you how to find out what you don't know. First, I can recommend reading through the stuff he has on his GitHub Talent main page. It's very helpful and long. Like I said, I you won't find Talent useful after a month. It's, it's a slow burn. Then I got this link for you, which contains some useful basic Talent commands, like the alphabet. Yeah, you want to learn that. It's very helpful and necessary. When coding, there's too many words the voice recognition just can't understand, and I can't blame it. That's all great and useful, but everyone's workflow is different. And the best thing about Talent is the capability to write your own scripts. And to my surprise, it's not that hard to do. Here's a starter guide, which I linked in the description. After I checked that out, I learned the syntax by looking at Canal Script. Click on the Talent icon in the taskbar, then click Scripting, Open Talent. In here, you can put your own scripts inside the user folder, and in there are all the Canal scripts. Well, after you put them there. Now you can code whatever you want. My advice is to make voice input commands as short as possible, but the voice recognition should never mistake them for another command. For instance, 10 is a terrible word, and the voice recognition in my case always thinks I say it no matter what command I use, that or one probably because lots of words rhyme with them. So pick unique sounds that are as short as possible, easy to recognize and fun. The more fun, the easier to remember and the more fun people have hearing you yell at your PC, hammer, attack, mouse, bam, talent, go to sleep.